11 protecting the people who protect us. Just a day after a Youngstown firefighter was shot heading to a fire call, we wondered how our first responders stay safe. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley went to Parma to find out. After a while, it's reflexive. Like a magnet, trouble draws them in. They never know to what degree. Is this going to be a line of duty death day? Could have been in Youngstown. Typically, it's man versus nature, firefighters and flames. Monday night, a gunman took aim at a crew working an abandoned house fire. A lieutenant took a bullet to his leg. Why would somebody want to do that? Youngstown is over an hour away, but this Parma fire station is connected in a morbid kind of way. There's been lots of firefighters shot around the country. Lieutenant Ricky Fetter thinks about stuff like that often. He can't always see what's around the corner, so his imagination fills in the blanks. A, a gunman and his bad intentions are going to do whatever they want to do it. Fetter handles SWAT duties, too. Even carrying a Glock doesn't silence the screams of imminent danger. Any more overdoses puts fire crews in a bad spot. Uh, when we wake them up, they can become violent. The Youngstown firefighter is expected to recover. The ability to trust the streets, though, likely never will. And there's something else. It's called the Forward Response Operations Group, or FROG. They attend to potential victims while SWAT members take on an active shooter situation. In Parma, Frank Wiley, News 5.